In this video, we will see about EEG recording system. EEG stands for electroencephalogram. EEG is an instrument used to detect and record the biopotentials generated across the brain. To record the electrical activities of the brain, we need to place the electrodes on the skull. Generally, we use 10-20 lead system for EEG. In medical field, the highest priority is given to the safety of the patient, especially in the medical instruments that are used to connect with the patient through electrodes, the highest priority has to be given to avoid the reverse current flowing from the circuit to the patient, as this reverse flow of current into the patient's body might lead to many adverse effects. So, it is always mandatory to have a protective circuit connected to the electrodes. Multiplexer Since we have more number of electrodes and all the bioelectric signals generated has to be processed one by one, so we use a multiplexer circuit to permit transfer of one signal from an electrode at a time. Instrumentation Amplifier It is a three-stage differential amplifier used to amplify even a very weak signal. Noise is filtered using a filter circuit and then signal to the noise ratio can be improved with the help of an amplifier circuit. These two circuits are often used together and are referred to as signal conditioning circuits. All the signals detected are analog signals. They need to be converted to digital signals for further processing. Hence, we use an ADC analog to digital converter circuit. Now, the digitized data is transferred to appropriate processing unit based upon its application. In general, we use a microcontroller for direct display or to print on a graphical sheet using recording pen. A microprocessor can also be used to store the data and to communicate with other devices through wired or wireless mode. A DSP processor can be used for data processing and advanced data analysis. We use 1020 lead system for EEG recording. The electrodes are placed as shown in the picture. These electrodes are then connected to the recording system that we have discussed earlier. The output of the EEG recording system is shown. These waveforms varies depending upon the stimulus and the condition of the brain. 